Have you ever wondered what happens when a galaxy chooses to stop growing? Meet NGC 1277, a galaxy that chose to halt its own evolution. In the Grand Cosmic Ballet, galaxies grow and evolve by consuming others, a dance of celestial cannibalism, if you will. But NGC 1277, a galaxy located a mere 240 million light years from Earth, decided to sit this dance out. Reported first in 2018, NGC 1277 is an anomaly, a galaxy that hasn't formed new stars for about 10 billion years. It's what astronomers candidly refer to as a dead galaxy. But why did NGC 1277 stop growing? The answer lies in its speed. NGC 1277 is a veritable speedster of a galaxy, hurtling through the cosmos at approximately 2 million miles per hour. Yes, you heard it right, 2 million miles per hour. Now for a galaxy, speed can be a double-edged sword. While it can help evade predatory larger galaxies, it also hampers its ability to consume smaller ones. This is precisely what happened with NGC 1277. It's moving so fast that it can't gobble up other galaxies in its gravitational pull. Without the gas and dust from these smaller galaxies, NGC 1277 ceased to form stars. It's an arrested development of cosmic proportions. Some astronomers believe that this is how most galaxies might have started out, looking a lot like NGC 1277. They evolved into spirals and other shapes only through later mergers with one another. So, in a universe where galaxies are constantly growing, evolving, and merging, NGC 1277 stands out as a cosmic rebel. It's the galaxy that chose a different path, one of solitude and stasis. It's as if it's frozen in time, a snapshot of what galaxies might have looked like at the dawn of the universe. In the cosmic dance of galaxies, NGC 1277 stands out as the one who chose to sit out forever frozen in time. In a universe that's constantly expanding, one galaxy dares to defy the norm. Say hello to Messier 90, the galaxy that's moving closer to us. Now isn't that a peculiar trait? Most galaxies we observe seem to be moving away from us, a result of the universe's relentless expansion. But Messier 90, this audacious spiral galaxy, is doing quite the opposite. It's heading our way, a mere 60 million light years away, and closing. Now you might wonder, how do we know this? Well, it's all about the light. You see, the light coming from Messier 90 is blue shifted. This means that the light emissions from this galaxy are skewed toward the blue end of the light spectrum. And why is that? It's because blue light has a shorter wavelength and gets squeezed together when an object is moving towards us. This is the opposite of redshift, where light emissions from objects moving away from us are stretched out, making them appear more towards the red end of the spectrum. Messier 90 isn't just some rogue galaxy on a joyride. It's part of a grand galactic community known as the Virgo Cluster. This cluster is a massive collection of over a thousand galaxies all bound together by gravity. Messier 90, with its unique blue shift, is one of the brightest members of this stellar neighborhood. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere and have a penchant for stargazing, you're in luck. Every May you can catch a glimpse of this fascinating galaxy. With a good pair of binoculars or a telescope, you can find Messier 90 sitting comfortably between the constellations of Virgo and Leo, a celestial spectacle waiting to be observed. Thus, Messier 90 continues its lonely journey, moving against the cosmic tide, drawing ever closer to the Milky Way. It's a testament to the vast and varied wonders of our universe, a place where galaxies can defy expectations and continue to amaze us with their unique behaviors. Home is where the heart is, but in the case of our Milky Way, home is where the stolen galaxies are. You see, our celestial home has been quite the interstellar kleptomaniac, quietly snatching up galaxies from its neighbors. In this cosmic game of capture the flag, the Milky Way has managed to steal not one, not two, but six galaxies from its nearest neighbor, the Large Magellanic Cloud. Among the stolen galaxies are four dwarf galaxies, which may seem insignificant at first glance, but their addition to our Milky Way's orbit is a testament to its gravitational prowess. But the Milky Way didn't stop there. It also claimed two large galaxies, known as Carina and Fornax. One could say, our galaxy has a taste for the finer things in the universe, but the plot thickens. The Large Magellanic Cloud, the victim of our home galaxy's interstellar thievery, is a peculiar place itself, 
Astronomers have discovered that it hosts a multitude of tiny dwarf galaxies. These aren't your typical galaxies, though. Some are so faint, so elusive, they don't even have stars. Instead, they're composed entirely of dark matter, a mysterious substance that doesn't emit light or energy, yet constitutes about 85% of the universe's matter. These galaxy heists are more than just cosmic grand larceny. They're a testament to the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our universe. Galaxies aren't static. They grow, they change, they move, and yes, they even steal from their neighbors. They're active participants in the cosmic dance, not just spectators. So, the next time you find yourself gazing up at the night sky, admiring the beautiful band of the Milky Way, remember, there's more than meets the eye. Our home, the Milky Way, is not just a beautiful spiral galaxy, it's a cosmic thief, quietly adding other galaxies to its orbit, making our cosmic neighborhood a little more crowded. From galaxies that refuse to grow, to the ones moving against the cosmic tide, to our very own galaxy that's a master thief, the universe is a treasure trove of wonders. Think back to NGC 1277, the galaxy that chose a path of arrested development over the cosmic survival of the fittest. Here's a galaxy that's refused to form new stars for over 10 billion years. It's like a relic from an ancient era, providing a glimpse into what the early universe might have looked like. Then there's the intriguing Messier 90, the galaxy that dances to its own tune. While most galaxies are moving away from us, as space itself expands, Messier 90 dares to move closer. Its light, skewed toward the blue end of the spectrum, tells us a tale of a galaxy that isn't afraid to go against the cosmic flow. And let's not forget our home, the Milky Way. This galaxy, our galaxy, is a seasoned poacher, stealing galaxies from its neighbors. It's a stark reminder that even the familiar can be full of surprises. Each of these galaxies is unique, each with its own peculiarities and eccentricities, but they're all part of the same grand cosmic tapestry, interconnected in ways we're only just beginning to understand. They challenge our preconceived notions, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and understanding. They remind us that the universe is not just a collection of stars and galaxies, but a dynamic, ever-evolving entity full of unexpected twists and turns. These discoveries also inspire us. They ignite our curiosity, fuel our imagination, and drive our exploration. They remind us that we're part of something much larger and infinitely more complex than we can comprehend. And they assure us that our journey of discovery is far from over. As we continue to peer into the great cosmic expanse, remember? The universe never fails to surprise us. Every star, every galaxy, every nebula has a story to tell. So keep looking up because the universe has many more secrets to reveal.